fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 28th of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life. Um, I'm often uh, uh, saying that I think that British people are less gullible than Americans, partly because of their relief, uh, belief in religion and uh, superstition, that kind of stuff. I think British people tend to do that rather less but I could be way off so it's time to attack the British now <laughs> on their gullibility according to a survey a report in the Guardian not a survey carried out by the Guardian but a report in the Guardian of, an, of a survey carried out on 4,000 adults apparently have come up to the conclusion that 30% of them believe that the world is con it, the world is controlled by a single group of people like some kind of clique or cabal or something like that, I presume. Not quite sure what the question was, but that's um, that was. I mean, I suppose if the group is big enough, you could probably say that that's true. But I think that 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 will be a, a massive, 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 massive group, right? So I don't think they mean it like that. Uh, that's there's that. The second thing is that the same number of people, thirty percent of people, believe that there is significant fraud in British elections. Ha. Huh? <laughs> Hilarious. I have no idea if the Venn diagram is, uh, you know, one circle covering another on those groups of people. Uh, possibly. It wouldn't surprise me. I have a feeling it might be something like that. Anyway, there we are, America. You don't have the uh, monopoly on dumbness. Just to cheer you up, make you feel <laughs> less um, alone. Uh, we're going to start this game. This is the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. We're going to start with the ones blocking as shown in blue. And we'll continue with one blocking up here and across here like this. Give me a one here. One across here, one across there, and one up here. It's a very nice day outside, by the way, here in Bangkok. Really sunny, very hot again. Uh, and I've been walking in it, but walking, taking motorbike, ta taxis, Skytrain, subway, the, everything today. A pleasant um, crossing of Bangkok I had today. Uh, all right, one is a completed digit. What do we know about the two? Let's just keep at it, shall we? What do we know about the twos? I don't know. What do we know about the threes? Oh, we have threes going around like a wheel there we are four down here four across there there's a four up here up there I think I've spotted a triple five six eight blocking across here so we get five six and eight in these three squares here am I right I believe I am uh, five six eight okay so this is not five six or eight it's got to be two seven and nine and we've got seven and nine there but we don't have anything about the two uh, let's see if we can do anything so we know that twos are in those squares now does that help us it means twos are there how about the sevens which are up there that means sevens there Okay, so the triple didn't do much. 
But I notice a three blocking this square and this square, so I'll put a three just there. And then we've got three and eight blocking across here, three and eight blocking across here. So we do have a pair of three and eight in these squares. So this is not three or eight, it's got to be two, four, five, seven, I think. So four blocking across there, there's the four. And we're left with two, five, seven. And we've got two and five together, so that's immediately going to be our seven. Seven blocking across here, seven across here, and seven down there. There goes a seven. We can get whatever goes there. What does go there? Two, I think. Two this way, two that way. There's two. Okay, uh, oh no, 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 almost made a mistake. Three across here and three up here puts three into one of these two squares. Let's extend it leftwards. Three blocking here, left here. There is our three. Three down here, three across here and across there. Four blocks this square here. This will be a four. That has to be a two. Four across this way and this way puts four here. Four down there, four up there, puts four into that square. Four across here, four down here, gives us four there. Four across here, four up there. Finishes the four? Yes, it does. Seven, ooh, excuse me, seven and nine block this square here, putting seven and nine in those squares and giving us a five here. And the five blocking down will give us five in that square. Five blocking across here puts five in one of, oh no, in that square actually right there, right there. Five blocking up here, five across here, five across there, there's five. Last number to get here is a two. Missing numbers are six, nine, I think. Okay. One and four are completed. The other numbers still to play for. Let's have another look. See if we can get anything else here. Two. Hmm. Hmm. 
unusual I pass of this. <laughs> well I've come to a grinding hole I can see quite a few things but can't find the next number What do I know? I know three and eight block across here. I've got three and eight in those squares there. I've got uh, two and five in these squares here, right? So I'm going to have six, nine in these squares. Six, nine. So that gives me, ah, okay, so this is 6, 9, and we've got 2 blocking this square here, so 2 has to appear in one of these 2 squares in this column, doesn't it? So 2 block blocks down here, 2 blocks down here, that's got to be a 2. And uh, I said 2 is in one of these squares here, but we've got 2 blocking across here, so 2 is going to be in one of these squares, so this can't be 2. That's got to be a 2 up there. Nine blocks this square. We need a 9 in the top row. It's got to go there. We finish that top row with a 7. 7 blocking down here, 7 up there. 7 goes there. 7 across here, there's a 7. Missing digit here is nine, I think. Nine blocking down here gives me the nine here and the six in this square. So the six there and the nine there. And what's missing from here? Is it eight? Yes, because we've got eight blocking up here. That puts eight in that square. Eight in that square. And this is a six again. Alright, looking much easier now. It was I was getting a bit concerned there for a while that it was gonna take a long time or be tough. I don't think it is now, to be honest. Uh so what's this? This is five six, is it? So that's five six, okay. Alright, so only the right hand <coughs> side to go. Let's have a quick look and see what's still to be done here. Um, three, nine, and six. 
six, three, nine, six. We've got three and six together, so that's going to be our nine. And we've got nine across here, and nine across there, and nine down here, so nine is now finished. Uh, six blocks this square, six blocks this square in this column, that's going to be our six then. And as I said, three, six, nine in those squares, so this is our three to finish that column. Three blocking down here, down here, there's a three. Uh, this is eight, isn't it, at the end of this row here now? And eight up here and eight across there, giving me eight in that square. And the eight's going up here, giving me eight there to fill that column. Um, not much more. One number left there. Uh, is that? No, it's not. Seven, I think there is. So seven blocking up here will give me seven in this square. Missing number here, two. Two down here. There's two. This is a five. Five blocking up puts five there. Five across gives me five there. Six is the number we need to finish the grid. That's it. So not too tough there from the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. Uh, and that's it. I'm going to have a, an afternoon nap now before I start some evening work. Bye-bye.